I believe after today, I've definitely earned the title of driver. Jacob used to always call me the driver. <laughs> I think after today, I really feel like I'm like I'm earning that title. I'm driving this for a whole thousand miles from Florida to New York. Oh, what was I thinking? I should have just had like my car shipped or something. Just paid the grand or whatever it was to have my car shipped. This is stupid. I oh my god, Jesus! I'll be praying so hard. Like, how am I gonna go to a gas station with this? Like, how am I gonna get gas? How am I gonna get food if I'm hungry? Oh my god. <laughs> You are officially in the truck and you're about to drive. You're about to reverse just to get out of here, first off. So I'll record whenever I can. I hope to God I never have to do this again in my life. <laughs> it is such a bitch to park this thing. I hate this thing. I almost wrecked it just now. And I'm just trying to go to Wendy's. I'm just trying to go to Wendy's. I don't understand. You might be wondering why I'm just sitting in the car with my phone in my hand. I went to get gas at a gas station and I heard a, a truck, like a, like a semi truck honk the horn, but I, I, I didn't know it was for me, so I kept driving. And then as I was uh, driving, an, a U-Haul truck, a small one, honked their horn and I saw them and they told me to like, you know, look down, look down to take a look at it. So I got out the car and I'm parked here now and this is what happened. So as you can see, the tire is really shredded up. The rest of the car is fine. They said they're gonna send somebody um, to take to take a look at it. One of their vendors. They're gonna text me how long it's gonna take. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna see if I can use this opportunity to like get get like an Uber to bring me some food or something. I'm so close to being home. I'm only like I'm only 200 miles from being home. Okay, so I just ordered. Well, not ordered, but I just. Uh, I'm gonna ask the guy if he could just go to Wendy's real quick and grab me some food. I'll tell him he can keep the change. So I gave the Uber guy 20 bucks to go get the food. He said he'd do it. I gave him cash. Hopefully, I'm praying that he actually doesn't just run with the money and you know just take it. Uh, I really hope he does get the food for me and come back. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna take two hours. <laughs> I'm gonna be stranded here. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. So I have to wait two hours for them to get here. And I still have another two, three hours drive to get back. Two hours? What the hell am I gonna do for two hours? The man came and we're gonna fix the tires right now, so happy. Let's see what he does. We are ready to go home. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Um, 
I am officially back in New York. Uh, as soon as I got back home yesterday, I fell asleep. I, passed, I had some food, saw my parents, so I couldn't, I didn't really want to record all that. Plus I was just mad tired after driving. So, but now it's the next day. Today is Sunday and I'm going to see Martin. Martin's going to come by real quick and my dad's here. He's out over here. It's my dad. And we're going to go um, start the truck stuff. We're going to take the truck. We're going to take the car off the carrier, then drive the truck and the carrier to the budget. After that, we're going to take, drop off the car carrier, bring the truck back here, unload the truck, and then bring the truck to the budget. Hopefully we'll have it done by today. Me and dad, we decided to just, real quick, we're going to try to take the car off. So we just got the truck back without the car carrier. I'm gonna unpack it real quick. Martin, J Smooth is gonna be coming down here real quick in a couple minutes to help me. My dad's gonna help me real quick, but let's take a look at the truck and see what we're working with here, right? As stupid as I am when it comes to packing, I am so surprised that nothing broke because uh, as you can see, I still have the light bulb in the lamp. <laughs> Yo, almost done. 